Yeah, hi everybody. We're now into February 2019 and I'd like to highlight some of the new releases from the Perth Mint. Probably the most important one was this one here. This came out two weeks ago. You've all seen the images of this, the 2019 Wedgetail Eagle coin. I've got to, got to admit that when I first saw this it was quite confronting. I mean we've all been used to the previous images and this one here is probably the most popular, the first image that came out. So to see these um, radiating lines as you as you see them here, was it's quite a departure from the normal design focus. But I love this coin. I think this is the most spectacular coin of them all now. Somebody commented on the fact that uh, the designer's initials were on the tail feathers. They didn't like that. But really, you can barely notice that. Let's face it, the guy that designed this coin also designed this coin here. You've probably seen this one around. I mean, John McCanty is probably the, the eagle guy there is in terms of design. So I'm taking nothing away from this. This is the most spectacular eagle design that I've seen come from him. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. You've got the bird in full flight, you've got its feathers exposed. Looks like it's just about to attack or to land. Just a beautiful coin. And they're very close to selling out of the Perth Mint now as I speak. First week of February they are almost out. So this coin has been very popular. And once again the new image of the Queen. An absolutely stunning coin. If you don't have this one, grab it. Another coin that came out from the Perth Mint two days ago was this one here. This is the new version of the rectangular one ounce dragon. So this is the 2019 version. And there's a slight difference from the 2018 one. Here it is here. They've just given it a little tweak. The 2019 coin has a security feature. There's a apparently a letter in um, in micro engraving in the one of the dragon's claws. I haven't found it yet, but apparently it's there. And uh, yes, these coins don't normally come encapsulated. They normally come in a tube, but um, I always pick up a capsule so that I can protect the coin. I really like these coins. There we go. Well, a big focus of um, the Perth Mint releases for the month of February this year were was the the Simpsons. Apparently, I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently this is the first time that um, the studio has uh, licensed a, a coin manufacturer to come up with a series of coins. So apparently, there's going to be a series of eight one-ounce coins and one two-ounce coin in this Simpsons series. The two-ounce coin is available now. That's this one here. And one of the one-ounce coins is this one here. It's presented in a display case, which is quite funky. I've actually, I've actually ordered this one. Why not? Um, but this one here, the um, Homer Doe coin, which has been carded. There's only 1,000 cards. And here it is here. Has that already sold out? This coin in the card sold out in two days at the Perth Mint. Now obviously there's going to be dealers around the world that will have stock of this, but um, I can tell you the Perth Mint has no more. There were only a thousand of these carded coins produced. And I've got the last one. There's going to be a total of, what is it, 25,000 of these actual coins produced, but yeah. Just a thousand carded coins, so there it is. <laughs> two days this thing sold out, would you believe? Two days. Good old Homer. 
There he is. Um, so what else was there? One of the other coins that I um, had a look at while I was down there was this one here. This is the coloured Kookaburra 2019 coin. And I did, I've featured this before. I really like this coin, as you know. It's, um, I think it's a beautiful design. It's almost a yeah, sort of an Art Deco style. So when I saw the coloured version come out, I thought, well, I've got to get that one. Here it is. So this is called the Berlin Coin Show Special. Okay. 1,500 mintage. Let's take a look. Number 342. Yeah, look, I know most people don't like coloured coins, but I just like this one. I've got grandkids. They're going to love this coin. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love my cooks. So here's the coloured and here's the non-coloured. It's a real purdy coin. One of the coins that was highlighted in the current brochure is this one here. I know, I think it was Sal, you did a version of this uh, on your one of your YouTube videos. And you guys are going to be very thrilled to know that of the nine of these coins that were produced, all of them have been sold except the one on display at the Perth Mint. So while I was down there, I checked it out. Here it is here. These are my photos of that coin. This is a stunning coin. There it is there. And if you if you're in the mood to buy this thing, it's only a it's 179,000 Australian dollars. And because Australian dollars are worth nothing at the moment, well actually it's 129,000 US dollars. But yeah, there's only one of these left. And with this coin you get um you get a whole bunch of diamonds. Yeah, there's 117 Argyle pink diamonds and you get an emerald as well for the eye. So why not? Why not? There's one left, one left in the world, only nine produced. Isn't that magnificent? If I had a lazy 179,000 Australian dollars, I would have it. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Argyle Diamond Mine, which is in the north of the state, Western Australia, is the world's largest diamond mine. And it mainly produces uh, industrial diamonds. But every now and again they find one of these, a pink diamond. It's famous for its pink diamonds, its red diamonds, and its yellow diamonds. Aren't these magnificent? And if you ever have a chance to visit the Perth Mint, you can see a display of these in the display room there, in the diamond room. And in case you're thinking of buying one of these, a pink or a yellow diamond is 10 times the price of an equivalent white diamond of the same carat weight and the same purity. 10 times the price. Imagine that. But um, there they go. They also produce, would you believe, blue diamonds. Now these are extremely rare. And brown diamonds. <laughs> Just what you always wanted, a brown diamond. When they first discovered these brown diamonds at the Argyle diamond mine, of course they couldn't sell them. I mean who wants a who wants a brown diamond? Then they rebadged them as champagne diamonds and they sold like hotcakes. <laughs> it's all in the marketing, isn't it? Champagne diamonds. Well, here's another coin with a diamond in it. I want to show you this one here. I mentioned this in a previous video, just referring to the brochure. This is the Rare Earth um, 5 ounce silver coin that came out about four months ago, I think now. 
I'm going to don the white gloves for this one and show you something rather special. Let me try and get this open. There were only a thousand of these made. Take a look at this. So this is five ounces of silver with a diamond. Um, I know, it's absolutely crazy. Who would buy something like this? Yeah, this is a coin. This is a legal tender coin. If you happen to live in Tuvalu. Five ounces of triple nine silver. Plus a pink argyle diamond. Actually, this one looks a bit yellow. Yes, I know, it's absolutely crazy, but this is, in my mind, it's a work of art. It's not a coin. It's just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And why not? You've really got to see it in the light. Every, t every angle that you see it in just reflects a different colour. Yep, I know all those stackers out there are heaving, but I love it. Um, so what else? You know that in some of my previous videos I featured um, this coin here. The dragon and tiger. So this is the bullion coin. I also featured this one here, which is the two ounce high relief. Just an absolutely stunning coin. I love this coin. It's still one of my favorites. So now this is my most recent addition to that range and it's this one here. So this is the gold bullion. I saw another YouTuber recently featured the two ounce high relief equivalent. So the, in other words, the gold equivalent of this one. And that is beautiful. If I was rich, I would have bought that one. So I'll just make do with this. Isn't that beautiful? So that is available now. So there it is. I do like my dragons. In fact, um, here's another one that I just, I featured this earlier, but I still like this one from the New Zealand Mint. The, um, which way is it? Up is it? In this way. The double dragon from the New Zealand Mint. I love the scaling on this coin. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Just a real purdy coin. Got to find a capsule for it though. And also from the New Zealand Mint, I've just picked up my first turtle. Ugh, love these guys. If I can pick it up. There he is. Isn't he cute? Okay, that's my haul for today. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.